Nations is included First Nation. Stilton graphic novels. We have so many great students at EVS who love to read and we want to hear from you. We want to know what your favorite books are or tell us why you love reading books or maybe you can tell us why you think reading is a good thing to do. Here's your chance to show your love for reading. We want to hear from our young primary students and our junior students all the way to our older intermediate students. Go to the BBS and click on the Get on the Morning Show slide. There you will see this slide. Open the Google form and you can upload a video of yourself that is one or two sentences long sharing about your love of books. Let's show how much we love to read EBS. I like a book. Coding Club is just a type of game and it's called Scratch and you build type of things and after when you build the thing, you can draw on it, and when you draw on it, it makes it on your picture, and you make different kinds of like things, like sharks, you make people, and yeah, and you just press on the shark or the people, and it gets it for you. What I like about Coding Club is Scratch. Basically, you can make shapes in it, and... You can like make it move with the with the coding. Right. You can build anything with new sound, the movement, or you can put your own characters and you can choose the background. Golden Club is Wednesday in first break. Go to the BBS. We hope to see you there.
Good morning, EVS. I love that basketball picture because I'm never sure if the ball actually goes in. So I would be interested to see if the ball goes in because it stops just before that. Um, nice to see all of you. I know. <laughs> nice to see all of you today. I've missed you. Um, I guess it was last Friday that I saw you. And I hope your week has been great so far. Uh, I was just thinking about the question about why should, why do we love reading books? So I thought I would tell you. Um, when I was younger, I didn't read very well at all. I struggled with reading, but with a lot of help, I learned to read. And from that time on, I have loved to read all types of books. Uh, fiction, nonfiction. I will read pretty much anything somebody gives me because I think there's so much value in what we read, right? Some books, I learned a lot of things I had no idea about. And some books, it's just really fun to read and some great fantasy, some great ideas. So find something that you can read, that you love to read, whether it's video game instructions, it's reading, reading signs as you're uh, in the car with your family, Read anything. Reading is everywhere. There's words everywhere. So we should all find something that we love to read. Um, let's see, what have I been up to since I last saw you? On Saturday, I went to a friend's house to have games night. I'm not really very good at games, but I thought, okay, I'll go because it's my friends and I want to spend time with them. So we played one game and we didn't follow the instructions, which was okay. And on my way home, because the drive was out to a place called um, Acton, and it was fine driving there, but on the way home, because it was raining earlier that day, I had to drive through fog, which was, as I would describe it, as thick as pea soup. So I'm not sure how many of you know what pea soup is, but it is thick, and you, can, you can't see anything through it. So at night, I'm driving, driving slower than usual, and I told my friend who was in the car with me, she could not fall asleep. She had to be my extra eyes while I was driving because it's so hard to see through fog. And I know lots of adults who are on here, lots of the teachers, have probably encountered fog in some point in their driving career. So I made it. I was not very happy about driving, but I made it and I just took my time. So there's a life lesson for you. Sometimes you have fog and you have to drive through it. What else have I been up to since I last saw you? Um, I've been going to the gym, doing my exercising. I went out for a walk actually on, on Sunday and I went uh, to a place called Dosa Den and it's on here on Tango and Gillingham. And that day was actually Dosa Day, which I was so, so excited because I got to eat some Dosa with uh, one of my friends. So those of you out there who know what Dosa is, Dosa Day was Sunday and it was a fabulous day. Uh, I think we're almost done this morning. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I, I, I would love to go for Dosas with anybody if you want. If you want, let me know and I will happily have it with you. So I think we're almost done. I hope you have a great rest of the day today. I will see you later today for um, an assembly so super excited to be hosting that with all of you and i know you will have a fantastic day please do your work learn be kind be respectful and pay attention and have a fantastic day everybody